Hello my kobolds and creatures, and welcome to a new series, a multiplayer series, where I, Kobold Queen, am playing on the Simps server, the super incredible multiplayer server. I didn't name it, but it's not too bad, is it? Um, what I thought was going to be a vanilla server actually turned out to be more of a thinly veiled anarchy server, and I've had to practice all my old... Um, survival skills to try and just avoid the players, hence why we're in a little cubby hole. But why should I explain it when I can just show you all the shenanigans that happened over the first days? So let's roll those clips. So here we are, the next wave of players to join the server. We took a little time to take in our surroundings, but as I explored and listened to the other players over the discord, something was certainly staring. Where's the cobalt what? presence? Where is cobalt? Cobalt is one of the news, yeah? Yeah, but where? One of the news. If they've been oppressed a lot, then I'll leave them alone because I'll feel bad. That's how I decide. Cobalt, Cobalt, Cobalt Queen. <laughs> Let me find you, my friend. -ry. I would run Cobalt. Where's Cobalt Queen? Uh, -tags. If you don't place that water back right -tag, now. Vitag, if you find them, will you let me know? Because I'm not their head. Where they at? Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't even... Cobalt, run. Cobalt, run. No, no. I can hide, but oh. I can't run. <laughs> I escaped the starting town of Thor. I stood up on some basic materials and found a hole to hide in. All the while, messages were popping up in chat as one by one all the new players were getting killed off. And I was their next target. Now, I may have been egging the killers on just a little bit at this point, but it was all in good fun and the conversation had just started to devolve into this. Am I, am I a kobold? Kobold? Are you a dragon? I'm a kobold. kobold. It's, a, it's a kobold. <laughs> A kobold. Do you not know your D and D slash furry lore? Come what, on. What is a kobold? I, I have friends. So that don't play D and D. Oh, that's a shame. I love. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? A small I, dragon I, type I, creature. That's what a kobold is. Question: Ooh. If I were to force feed one a spoon, would it kill them? Uh, no. Okay. No, actually, uh, there's some kobold lore. They can eat anything they want to. They are immune to poisons. Okay, but what about if I shove a full lead shotgun shell down their gullet? Uh, that mean, might have with consent, of course. Okay, so I now walk up to the co and I now walk up to the kobolds and I, I rip off Herbert's mask. Why am I good in this? Why is that stash on his face? Like just, just like shoving it. Like, I just I put would, it on their eyes so they can't make see. A strength check, I guess. Ba ba. Put down my gun and I high five the kobolds. I'm rolling a d20 for if the kobold still likes, still likes me. I rolled a one. Alright, so Cobalt, I'm gonna log back on. If I catch you, I'm about to kill you now, because I rolled an 18. Yep, if you can find Yo, me. I wanna have a DD session, low key. I've never had I, one before, I wanna have one. Oh, I'm already running two different groups. So Cobalt can run. <laughs> I'm not running, I'm just happily gathering resources. <laughs> you dip, I, gave you, I gave you an entire DD bit to just. Well, I, I've had lots of fun. Jeans, can you start a DD thing? Because I wanna do it one time. Seems fun. <laughs> Please, yeah, I'm, I'm a forever I'll, I'll DM. I'll be within your service if you run a session. <laughs> Alright, so we have our DM. Actually, no, I'm not. I, 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 I'm like a mix of forever DM and not, so I... I I'm gonna guess James is the D&D character. I'm assuming... L l let me cook it, well, I'm assuming... I'm, 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 let me read your mind! I, I assume one of them is a furry femboy with anime powers similar to Goku. Uh, whenever the whenever the thing... Uh, it's, a, it's a thing. Whenever it gets mad, its eyes turn red and its fur goes black. A and tabaxi it yells, uh, monk. Barbarian? By that description? Yeah, I guess. It'll be, yeah, it'll be a subclass then, but it doesn't matter. No, I- uh, You're very close, to be honest. Uh, two of my current running characters are both- can, would be considered furries. Uh, one of them is a Kenku, so a bird person, uh, <laughs> who worships a red ball. The other one is a rat, and the other one is a orc. They got a wing of- uh, a wing of three wish- no, a ring of three wishes from a genie, and- uh, has now managed to successfully waste two of the three wishes to be to gain the skills of a great carpenter and the skills of a great blacksmith. Um, I, 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 I take it back. My character is, is a yellow man with a mustache and brown hair with overalls, but also sometimes a wife beater called Herbert. Uh, whenever I'm angry, I scream like a banshee. Whenever I'm scared, I scream like a banshee. Stop minion is crazy. <laughs> really I'm absorbing the law here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, some some Sheem's law. Okay. Oh. Sheem's first ever sword, well, the sword I remember, was called his magical femboy power, so you can assume if he's a homosexual. It was called, it was called uh, Stabby McStabface. Alright, gang, so what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing right now? Alright, killing new members. I've killed two of them. One's very mad at me because they lost That's one. my favorite. That's my favorite activity. Uh, we're, we're looking for kobold. Mm -hmm. They're currently in the chat. They're in the beast um, now. I, I, I've tried to give them an escape. 
Uh, yeah, I, I got tricked into playing some D&D. Whenever um, people join okay. the server, the I can never tell who's who. What do like, you mean, who's I, who? Cause they're, no, because their usernames never match their Discord name. Oh, yeah, true. I, does. I, I'm very... Yeah, I know you. Yeah, I, I know. Mine's Cobalt, very similar. Like, My name is Cobalt. I know. Thank you, yeah, Cobalt. You're, you're, well, then, we're on brand here. You're... You're my favorite, for real. Favorite new person. I guess you could say I was settling in well with the other players. Then, then I began building up my little cave. I kept talking to the other simps, discovering that Spawn Town was being destroyed. Welcome to what remains of Law Town, I guess. Oh, yeah, it's not that bad. Oh, everything is burning. Hey, the lightning machine is fine. Let's run it. Hey. Simone, who did it? Who ruined my beautiful house? Probably red. It was red. Where's he at? Where's he at? My always wow. is it blowing up? Brilliant. Floor town gone. Okay, dude. Just gonna keep these tiny blocks with my own. It's it's it's, it's, it's genuinely gone. Oh yeah, it's 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 I don't believe it. After spending time trying to avoid being killed by the other players, it was actually a skeleton that got my first death. But with Lawn Town being a burning mess in the distance, I was able to get back to my cave undetective and recover my items. Yeah, so that is our first day. A little bit chaotic and that wasn't it, but let's be honest, I just hid in a hole for the entire night. And in between, I have been busy mining up materials as I can. Mostly a stash of iron and coal. I was able though to pop out this morning. All the players were offline for a bit, so I decided I'd stock up on trees and I found out that there were several different trees in the area. So we now have acacia, mangrove and oak at our disposal. You know what, there are some birch ones right outside as well. But I, yeah, that's too many people online. I'm not gonna risk it. I mean, look at my lives. Everybody else is taking a few deaths and I'm still on one and that was from a player No, <laughs> no, and that wasn't from a player. It was from a skeleton So next step is gonna be making a home out of this hovel so we need to peel this all back and Get started on some sort of plan some sort of design and what a way of be eh. <laughs> oh words what better way of doing this than in our usual fun way of a time lapse so roll up music and let's begin <laughs>
Now for a final touch. If anyone does enter my base, they deserve a certain greeting, don't they? Catch on, lava traps ahead. You'll lose stuff. Best regards, Cobalt Queen. I uh, probably should have spelt check that beforehand. But no matter. No, not a problem at all, is it really? You know, an empty threat isn't um, without its uh, spelling errors, is it? <laughs> well, it's better than none. Now that our home is taking some shape, though, it needs a name, doesn't it? And I think I have been thinking of the perfect one. With our little mangrove stairs and floors everywhere, I'm thinking of just calling this something simple. It's the Red Mines. Simple as, memorable, I like it. And it's what just keeps bouncing around in my head like a screensaver. So we're using it. Before I call this place home, though, I still need a few more additions. And I need the two gear up. You know, so I can safely go outside and run some errands. That's enough rambling though, isn't it? I best just get back to work. Let's go. Well, kobolds and creatures, I was just doing a bit of mining and I only just reached diamond level with our little stairway that we've made. It's not a bad little mangrove stairway. Didn't want to do a drop shaft because I didn't want to risk server lag getting me killed. But as soon as I get to the bottom and start trying to just make a floorway, we already have our first diamond. Ooh, we got one, two. Come on, have we got another? Yes, we do. That makes a pickaxe. Yeah, we got a pickaxe. We got our first three. We got enough to make what we need. Let's carry on, shall we? After finding diamonds, we worked on this little pond behind us. Food was a little murky, so just decided to give you a, a little update now. Then, server, seeing as the server was quiet during that, I decided to pop out and do a bit of exploring. Rather than giving you the long version, let's just throw those highlights on right now, shall we? deaths in but still the lowest count on the server if you look we're number two um we've got 44 but i did see someone on before who had six that seems to be the closest that we're fighting against when i try and keep my number low after all so we don't have time we don't have time that's not the right term that's not what the script says ah oh, come on kobold get your mind together we've got an episode to record you gotta get the words right <laughs> Where was I? Um, oh yeah, just died and I'm not going to be able to get that stuff back. That's like right on the border of the map. There is no way I'm going to be able to get there in time without despawning. So I already went ahead and re-geared up, did some more mining, got some more tools, some more things, bits and pieces. Um, I'm actually recording this a while afterwards, so you know, sometimes what I'm wearing might be a little off. Okay. Is it safe to record? Are the neighbours going to stay quiet? <laughs> oh, I keep trying to do these voiceover segments and every time somebody makes noise. Oh, it drives me up the wall. I tell you, it really does. Anyway, let's get back to my script, shall we? Next on our list of to-do things is to go grab some animals. Servers have been a little quiet the last few days, so I was able to rush out and go and... Hunt for some bits and pieces.
I was able to get a sheep, a cow, a frog, and a chicken. But something happened when bringing the chicken home. A player named Perry the Platypus showed up with an elytra, and I was so worried I was going to die at that point. But instead, we just talked about our projects, and they flew off onto their merry way. Well, there we have it, my cool and creatures. We have our animal pens all tidied up and everything. Let's switch to first person and get a good view. We have our little froggo who's trapped in a full-blown cage because they kept escaping. Then over here we got our cows who are bred up. Our sheep, which are now red and blue, farming up materials with those. And our chickens, where we are slowly just... Oop, sorry about that. Where we're slowly just farming them up as well. And you know what? Red Mines is actually coming along. We got proper diamond level mine, access to an iron level mine, a what's that called again? Geode, I think. And we go up here. What is going to be storage? A bed, a tree planting area, a pond down there, and our main foyer bit area there. You know what? It's a start, but I think we're off to a good one. And it's been quite a nice episode, hasn't it? Uh, shenanigans all around, got to talk to some players, got to really get settled. And you know what? I was a little bit nervous going onto a new server, but I think it's been good. It's been a nice warm welcome, if a little chaotic, but come on, everyone wants a little chaos, don't they? But that is all the- whoop, <laughs> too close. That is all the time I have time for? No, that- that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I will keep it. That's all the time I have time for. That still doesn't sound right. That's all the time I have. That's how you say it. That's all the time I have. So, that's going to have to be the wrap of an episode, isn't it? I've got so much editing to do, so much artwork to make, a thumbnail, maybe some sketches. I'll see what I do with the editing when I get there. Oh, I'm rambling, aren't I? As I always do. Hopefully next episode, I can really decorate this place up. Cobblestone isn't a good wall palette, is it? We'll need to do some proper building next episode and get things rolling on the ball, as one would say. So, without further ado then, I have been Cobalt Queen, this has been The Simps Server, and I shall see you in the next episode. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, I just love jumping off things randomly. Bye everyone.